me eat your butt. Girl. Really? Now, look, y'all know we covered this a year ago when Chris Sean, she went live and she said what Taziki did to her. And it was shocking back then in 2023, right? Also, I did a video and I'll leave the link up top where Chris Sean's older sister also accused Taziki of touching her son. So they saying Taziki did something to the nephew too. And I see the nephew, he's all over TikTok, all over social media talking about this situation, saying that now he got a fetish for older women. But I got to say this. And look, I appreciate Zeus Network and what they've done for my channel when it comes to clearing up copyright strikes and stuff like that. But I still got to be real. I wouldn't put it past Zeus Network to allow a fake storyline to go on air for views. And today we got Krishan's best friend saying that Krishan is lying about Taziki. Now, by the way, I want to prove to y'all that this girl actually knows Krishan. So this is what the girl posted to her Instagram page on her story. And she said, you going to keep letting them think we wasn't locked in, Negro? So you see her and Krishan laid up in the bed, chilling, smoking, okay? So y'all see that Krishan and this girl got some type of relationship, okay? So she said on one of her stories been her best friend since sophomore year of high school and as many times as shorty been mad and i was there with her these allegations would have been came up she never said a word about her sister touching her ever now i will say you know everybody just don't talk about being touched all the time okay so i will give christian the benefit of the doubt when it comes to not sharing this information with everybody, right? She continues to say, mind y'all, we was just sleeping on Tifa couch the day before she announced she was pregnant. And prior to that, calling Tifa every day and with her every time you came to Maryland at Krishan, you're sick. Now, that's the thing. I don't think a lot of y'all was fans of Krishan before she went on Blueface's show. But I actually used to follow her on Instagram when she was the student athlete, okay? Now, back then, it looked like Taziki and Krishan was like this. It looked like Krishan was living with Taziki because obviously she's older than Krishan. By the way, Taziki should be about 29 or 30. Krishan should be about 24 or 25. So when she says, I was seven... That means Taziki should have been about 12 years old, okay? Just wanted to give y'all the ages. Now, like I said, back then, they was always together. And back then, they used to take all of these little cute photo shoots together. And you would have never thought something like this happened, okay? And so I'm showing y'all that because when you see the best friend say, we was just sleeping on Tifa's couch before she announced she was pregnant, it never seemed like Krishan and her sister had any type of issues until Taziki started to go on Zeus Network and be on TV and stuff like that. Then they started this back and forth about clout chasing and Taziki wanting to be like Krishan or steal her spotlight and stuff like that. That's when the issues or at least the public heard about any type of issue between Taziki and Krishan, okay? Now, the best friend continued and said, every time something didn't go her way, she lied about somebody touching her. She lied about Sean R. Malone, the people who took you in, and the baby godparents making sexual advances at her. She lied about another person trying to have sex with her. Now you lying about your own blood, sister, simply because you're jealous of her. Now, look, I'm not here to cast judgment on anybody, but I thought I would put this out for y'all today because it's a trending topic. And look, while this is something that needs to be discussed I don't know if Zeus Network is the place to have this conversation, if they're going to do the due diligence to make this into a teaching moment 
or a moment that can help people or just some ghetto moment to get views. Cause it's, you know, like I remember back in the day when love and hip hop did a season about, um, the gay guys. And I was trying to remember one of their names. I forgot their names, but one of them, he's a dark skinned guy. I still see him around to this day on social media. I forgot his name, but I remember they was like, yo, this is going to be groundbreaking. We're going to get, you know, some gay black guys on TV. And this is going to really be inspirational for a lot of people. And I remember at the time thinking to myself, wow, this could be a moment to cast a positive light on the gay community. Right. But this is totally different. I don't think this being on Zeus Network and baddies will do anything for victims who were abused unless it's handled in a way that's totally opposite from what we've seen from baddies and Zeus network before. Okay. So y'all let me know. Do y'all think Christian might be telling a story? Do you think Zeus would care if it was a lie or true? Cause for all we know, maybe to Zeke and Christian, they had a conversation. Look, they had to talk before filming. I don't, I don't think this was a setup. I see people making videos like, yo, Tzatziki got set up. I think a lot of this stuff on reality TV is scripted. I think we all know that. And that's why I'm like, what's really going on here? So, and, and look, maybe, maybe the script can be based on real life events. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.